In this video, I would like to demonstrate how you can edit multiple cameras together using multicam inside of Final Cut Pro 10. This is a great way to add value to all of your productions. If you're working on a project by yourself but you're able to set up multiple cameras, you can record all of the cameras, sync them up, and edit them inside of Final Cut Pro 10 as though you were switching live. This is a great technique and it's very simple and easy to do if you follow these few steps. First of all, let me show you what it is. I have this project here, a tutorial on how to create a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. A simple task, it's been recorded with three camera angles. There's a top camera angle, there's a front camera angle, and there's a camera angle off to the side. So I've gone in and I've marked, you can see this blue mark on each of these camera angles. I've marked a location on the, cam on the clip where I clapped and I made a specific sound and I want to match up each of these. I have then created a multi-camera clip that puts all of these clips together and I have edited them, edited them inside of a project. It allows me to switch between each of the clips right in order. So let me show you how to do this very simple yet very very powerful process. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project Actually, I'm going to create a new library. File, New, Library. I'm going to create a new library and I'm going to save it to my desktop so I can store all my files together and move it from computer to computer if I need to. I'm going to call this PBJ, Peanut Butter and Jelly, Multicam, Demo. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. It's going to open up my new library. I'm going to close the other library. I two finger click or control click on it and I close the library. So now I have a library, I can import the media. I have my media saved on the desktop inside of a folder called PBJ. If you're in class, I will share this folder with you. Uh, if you're watching this video online, I will try to share these files somehow. I have created uh, three different camera angles, camera one, camera two, and camera three. There is an HD video and an SD video. If you have an older computer, it's a little bit slower, I'd recommend using the SD video files. It will render faster and you'll still learn the same process. So I'm going to go ahead and select my HD videos, which are the ones just camera one, camera two. I press command and I can select each of these three videos. I come over here, I make sure that copy to library is selected. I can add to existing event or I could create a new one. I'm just going to keep it as add to existing. I don't want to have optimized media or proxy media checked off. This will create files on the computer that will be larger and it will slow down your computer. If you're professional, you may choose to do these. Uh, if you're just learning, I recommend not doing this as it will save space on your hard drive and it will allow your computer to process it faster. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to worry about analyzing it right now. I'm going to click on import selected. It's going to import the video files. If your computer's taking a while to import, it'll show a little box down here with this, or a little circle like a clock filling up showing you the process. Mine imported quickly, so it's all set and ready to go. Once you have imported your clips, you can see them here. What we need to do is we need to help Final Cut Pro know how to sync these cameras together. What we're going to do first is select each clip, go over to our inspector. If your inspector is not showing, go up to Window and go to Inspector Minus Showing, so I don't want to hide it. I'm going to click on Info tab, and depending on which version of Final Cut Pro 10 you're using, it may say camera name, or it may say angle name, or it may say both. Uh, you need to put in a camera name or an angle name. That will allow Final Cut Pro to sync up the different clips. I'm going to just call this Camera 1. I can select on the next one. Again, same thing, I go to the Info. I call this Camera 2. If you don't do this, I've noticed that sometimes Final Cut Pro will not sync the, ca the clips. It will instead put one after the other sequentially. So camera three. So each of my cameras have a name, camera one, camera two, and camera three. That's good. Now what I want to do is sync up audio inside each of these. At the beginning of each clip, I've clapped. And so I'm going to go ahead and put a marker right where that clip, that clap is in each clip. In fact, I messed up a few times and I clapped a couple of times, but I'm going to just sync up the first clap. If you're doing this using these video clips, make sure you use the same clap in each clip that you sync up. I'm going to go ahead and click at the beginning of this clip and press the space bar. If your clips do not show like this as three simple clips, uh, make sure you drag your viewer to show all. That way you can just see the clip. 
it may be spread out so you just see parts like this. That's confusing when you're trying to sync up three clips. I recommend just show all. So now what I want to do is play from the beginning each clip. When I hear the clap, I'm going to press M on the keyboard to mark it. Now you don't have to be exact, but the closer you get, the better. I'm going to do that for each clip. And you notice when I mark it, a blue uh, image appears up here at the top. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the third one. So now I have marked each of the claps on these cameras. I'm going to select all the cameras. I have the bottom one selected now. I'm going to press shift and select the top one. With them all selected, I go up to file, new, multi-cam clip. I'm going to go ahead and give this a title, PBJ demo. Now yours will probably say angle synchronization, it'll say automatic. I recommend switching first marker on the angle. That's the marker that we've created here. And use audio for synchronization. That means it's going to listen to the audio and it's going to try to match up the audio uh, so the clips all line up perfectly. And if we have recorded similar sound on each of these clips, it does a pretty good job. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. It may take a few minutes depending on the length of your video clips and the quality of the audio. Once you have a multi-clip created, you'll notice it has this little icon in the corner of the four different squares. This is showing you that it's a multi-camera clip. Uh, you can double click inside this and you can actually see each of the clips that you have created. And I can look here and I can see that the audio is lined up pretty well with each of these and I can see all the different clips. If it's not lined up, this is where you can actually come in and you can adjust where the sound comes in. I don't want to do that though because it seems to have done pretty well. I can even play through. And as I play through, if you hear an echo, you may realize it's not set up exactly. But mine is pretty good, so I'm going to keep it as is. I'm going to come back. And now to edit this, I'm going to go ahead and make a new project. File, New, Project, PBJ, Demo. So I have this new project. I'm going to drag uh, my PBJ demo multicam clip into the project. I could either select it and click right here to have it go to the timeline, or I could drag it down. Now this clip is going to act as though it's a regular clip. I can trim it from the beginning. I could go through and I could use the blade tool and I could split it at different locations. But what we're going to do is we're going to watch it as though we're watching um, three different cameras and switching them live. So on here, I actually messed up a few times or I just clapped a few times. I don't know how you mess up clapping, but uh, I actually didn't start until right about here and I can play through. I can count it down as well. Four, three, two, one. So I'm going to start right here. I could either take this and trim it all the way back or I could just simply use the blade tool and I can cut there, switch back to my select tool, and I can delete this part. Now, you may wonder why would we do that? Let me undo. I want to show you something I forgot real quick. Uh, we can see all of the clips, but I just want to show you can treat this like a regular uh, clip that you're editing. I'm going to put my cursor back here at the beginning, and I'm going to go up to view, and I'm going to go to where it says show angles. Now, this will show the three different camera angles that we have done. If I come back a little bit more, it has black, black, and then the, the camera three. The reason it has this is because the cameras were not recording at the time this one was recording. The clip was a little bit off. So now I can move these over and I can see the, the clip is there. So now what I want to do now is I want to go through and edit between all the different shots. I'm going to delete this section because I know that it's just me at the beginning. And I can play from here. Today I'm and that's where the beginning is, so that's great. I'm going to go ahead and show you, this is where the power of multi-cam editing comes in. I can choose which camera angle I want. I can also choose which uh, audio I want to hear. So if you look at these icons up here, if I use this icon here and I play through and I click on the different scenes, 
or different clips, or I press number one on the keyboard, number two on the keyboard, and number three on the keyboard, I can switch between these different angles. If I have this icon selected, it's going to switch the video and the audio at the same time. If I have this one selected, it'll only do the video, and if I have this one, it will only do the audio. I like to do this one, and I like to choose which one has the best audio and keep the audio the same, but switch the video. That way, if you have a microphone set up on one camera, you can get the best audio on that, where the others may just have the built-in microphone on the camera. So I'm going to enable video only switching. It's going to show me the color. Uh, let me show you first. If I switch audio and video, if I play through here, I'm going to show you the steps on how to create a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. First, you need to make sure you have all of the materials. You need to have so as I click through there, you may or may not have been able to tell, but the audio was different on each of the clips. If I come back down here to my timeline and I play it, today I'm going to show you the steps on how to create a peanut how butter it and jelly sandwich. between each clip when I clicked on it. Over here, you can see the output or you're going to see what is actually being recorded uh, as though you're live switching. So that's one way to switch the cameras. The other way is I can press, you have your I can bread. play and simply press one, your jelly, two, or three and of course, on the keyboard. The peanut butter. So the first, if I have more camera angles to load in, I can use all of the keys up through nine and maybe even zero. I don't know what you'd press after that, but I think it might be possible. Now, what I've done is I've switched between each of the the angles using the video and the audio. If I want to keep the best audio, let's say I want to keep this audio, but switch to different videos, I simply choose here, and when I play it, the peanut butter. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is open up the bread. When I switch to another clip, green stays where the audio is, and blue is showing me what clip is happening. That way I can make sure to keep the audio throughout. Simply twist the twist tie. Take out two slices of bread. So as you can see here, you can create a multicam clip very simply inside of Final Cut Pro 10. Now you can use the video files that I've created or you can create your own multicamera clip. In fact, I challenge you, uh, edit together a multicam clip of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich uh, tutorial. You can use my videos or you can create your own, upload it to YouTube and share it to this channel so we can see your multicam uh, videos and your peanut butter and jelly tutorials. Thank you and have a great day.